What's going on in the Nassau County real estate market as we start the fourth quarter of 2020? Hello again and welcome back. Dean with Dean Miller Real Estate here and in today's video I want to give you the inside scoop on what's happening in the real estate market right here in Nassau County as we start the fourth quarter of 2020. To say that 2020 has been one of the most unique real estate markets of the last 20 plus years would be an understatement. With some of the lowest interest rates in history and an extreme shortage of inventory, we find ourselves in a situation where both buyers and sellers have some great opportunities and leverage. I want to talk to you about what's happening today in the market, so if you're thinking about selling your home or buying a new one, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Here at Dean Miller Real Estate, we don't like to just give you the same stats that you're seeing from the mainstream media outlets. Those numbers that you're seeing in the news are typically called trailing indicators. What we like to focus on are called leading indicators. These are the things that are happening in the last 30 days, while the media is talking typically about what's happened in the last two, three, or sometimes even four months ago. As we stated in last month's update, we anticipated that demand would slow a little bit based on lower foot traffic numbers in August. But we were surprised to see that it actually continued at an amazing speed shortly after the Labor Day holiday weekend, which is leading us to the following. The first number that we want to focus on as an indicator is the number of new homes that have come onto the market for sale. That number is actually down 37% countywide over the past month, with a total of 1,130 new listings coming onto the market countywide in the month of September. That marks two months in a row of double-digit declines. Now, it's not uncommon to see a slowdown of new inventory during the fall season, but this is a drastic drop from what we saw over the summer, where new homes were regularly coming onto the market at an above average rate. Many people were commenting basically on the exodus from New York City. This bodes well for homeowners who are looking to take advantage of the shortage of homes that are for sale in many towns, as the law of supply and demand will kick in, meaning there will still be opportunity for average prices to continue to climb. On the flip side, the number of homes that have come off the market and gone into a pending status during the third quarter of the year has actually stayed almost identical to the same time period from 2019 with an increase of only 1%. As a result, we're starting to see some real frustration from those who are shopping for a home and we're also noticing an impact in the classification of a first-time home buyer. As a result of many people in that exodus from New York City, we're now seeing buyers who are actually looking for something more than a typical quote-unquote first-time home buyer house. Many of these consumers have been paying high rents in the city that far exceeded the typical first-time buyer's monthly budget, meaning that their first home is more likely one that would qualify as a trade-up or even a luxury home. This is creating a massive competition, and we're now starting to see more and more activity in that mid-level and even the luxury level markets. With the average sale price of a single-family home here in Nassau County now increasing another 9% over the same time period in 2019, we're now looking at almost $740,000 as the average price of a single-family home. And to clarify, the direction that the market continues to move in, the average price of all pending sales also increased 11% to just over $780,000. Now don't let these numbers panic anyone, especially those of you that are looking for a more affordable home. In fact, the median average price during third quarter was actually $590,000 which is a 5% increase from last year. But this means that almost 3,000 of the homes that sold in fourth quarter sold for under $590,000. So for those of you that are looking for a true first-time buyer type home, there are still many wonderful opportunities out there for you. I'll repeat what I've said over the past few months in our updates. It still appears that the three main factors affecting the state of the market in no particular order are, one, the historically low interest rates that are still floating at just above 3%, two, Smart buyer clients deciding that apartment living, paying rent, and living in the city are no longer of interest to them, personally or financially. And the fact that there has no, been no greater time in history to trade up into a larger home, and in many cases doing so without having a major impact on your monthly payment as a result of these incredibly low rates. A quick side note, according to CoreLogic, there's been a 6.6% increase in total home equity nationwide over the past year as well. This bodes well for all of you homeowners. So what does this all mean to you today? Let's do a quick recap. New inventory is down 37%. The pending listing number is consistent, meaning higher demand, which benefits smart sellers. And supply is now down to two and a half months across the entire county. But interest rates are still floating around 3%, like we said earlier, which gives the smart home shoppers great options to get in with a lower payment than most people would have expected. With average, median, and pending sale prices continuing to rise between 5 and 11 percent, active inventory continuing to decrease, and buyer demand is still as strong as it was over the summer, all signs point to a stronger than average market for the upcoming winter. If you're looking to buy a new home, you'll have to be patient, you'll have to stay focused. Your prize will show up. 
and you'll need to be ready and act quickly. Have your team and your finances in place in advance. And if you think about selling, let me say this again, there's not enough inventory for sale. You're in control of the market. While there's great opportunity for buyers, it is clearly a seller's market right now. Bad weather and all, this is an incredible time to get your home on the market to cash out on all that built up equity we talked about earlier and to sell at a very, very high price. And don't let the weather fool you. Yes, there may be fewer showings on your home in the cold and the snow season, but think about it. If someone's willing to come out and bear the elements to look at your home, they're probably a heck of a lot more motivated than many of those looky-loos that actually showed up during the beautiful season. Hopefully this has been beneficial to you. If you have questions about this or your specific hometown or your desired future hometown, we'd love to be a resource for you. Give us a call at 516-248-5007 or connect with us on any of our social media channels. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next month with another Nassau County Real Estate Market Update.